Prime Minister, if I may, you may meet someone on the doorstep who will ask you about specifically about the Rwanda project. So can you tell us today on day one of the election campaign, when will the first flight go? Yeah, I, I addressed this in detail just a little while ago at a press conference. The first flights will go in July, and we've already put the preparations in place for that. We've hired hundreds of caseworkers, identified the cohort. As people have been watching on their TV screens or on the newspapers, we've already started detaining people. We've hired the escorts. We've got an airfield on standby. We've booked the flights. So all of that work is already ongoing. And then the choice of this election is clear, because if I'm re-elected as Prime Minister on the 5th of July, these flights will go. We will get our Rwanda scheme up and running. We will ensure that we have a deterrent. And that's how we're going to break the cycle of these gangs, decide, make sure it's us who decides who come to our country. And that's an approach that, as I said, 15 other European countries have all now said that they think is an important part of the solution. But if Keir Starmer is prime minister, we won't have that.